Hello everybody, how are we all doing today? Hopefully you've had a chance to uh, carve since my last video. Um, if you haven't, try to make that a priority. Go out and do something, carve something, you'll have some fun. So I have been tasked with uh, <laughs> creating a, uh, a goat that is looking over the bridge at the troll that I made in my last video. So. I have kind of uh, done a, a real quick sketch on this. I'm going to cut this out on my scroll saw just to give it that 3D shape so I have something to start with. Uh, and then from there, I'll go in and start carving. This, this was taken just from a scrap piece of uh, something else I was working on. It is um, not sure what it is, actually. Uh, let's call it fogwood found on the ground. Uh, just don't know. but. It's small enough, it's a harder wood, uh, harder than the sycamore that I use, I can feel that. Should hold details really well, but it may be a little harder to, to carve as well, but no big deal. We'll get started. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set up my camera so I can uh, aim it over towards my scroll saw and I will cut the shape out real quick here. All right, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, first I'm gonna straighten up some edges here just to make things easier on myself. Okay, I just mostly needed a flat bottom there, so I can go ahead and cut out this uh, head shape and body shape. I'm gonna go ahead and, and draw this in a little better. I, I wasn't quite lined up on my other drawing. So I just kind of want to give this shape of what it would look like if I was looking straight down on top of, on top of this. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And again, like I said, I'm gonna make it wider than it really needs yeah, sorry about that uh, i'm going to make it wider than it really needs to be and then i can take it down once i need to so now that i have one side of this shape cut out i need to tape um tape this all back together so that I can do the other side. I've got the tape all the way around, so I've got the two pieces taped back on, and now I can cut out this shape. So when I take this all apart, I should have a basic shape of a kneeling goat. Now I can take this over and carve out the rest of how I want this goat to look. I can put the space in between here. I can do two back legs pretty easily. Um, it may have gotten a little thin back here, but I think I'll be okay. That should give you an idea what I'm trying to do here. I want him kneeling on the edge of the of the rock wall. Actually, he's going to be going this way. And then the giant, which I don't have here with me, is going to be facing out this way. All right, here we go. One thing I could say is I have never done a goat before. 
Uh, I do have a basic shape here, as you can see. Now, what I'm gonna need to do is pause my recording because I need to look up some more images of goats, a little more in detail to see what it is I'm actually creating here and uh, get a better idea of how to do the head and the eyes and all of that. Uh, this back here probably won't be too difficult, but it's, it's the face. I wanna make sure that's right so that it'll look good from either direction and uh, we'll go on from here. All right, let's give this a shot. I've uh, gone in and drawn all these little features, so we'll see how I can do this. My apologies, I, uh, I made a complete rookie mistake and I forgot to hit the record button. Uh, I did get uh, the, the face and some of the ear parts done. Started doing in between the, uh, the legs here, uh, starting to shape those. This knee broke right off. Uh, so I've got that glued in there with some super glue. So I'm gonna to move to the back now and get those back legs started and we'll carry on. So um, yeah, sorry about the uh, mistake there, but uh, there's what we have so far. Not having much luck with these legs, am I? I'm gonna glue these back on and be right back. All right, I'm gonna try uh, try doing this again. Uh, you'll notice the grain on here is pretty wide and it's breaking right on that. Uh, it's just snapping right on there. Uh, again, I don't know what type of wood this is, but that's kind of why I like sycamore. It doesn't snap so easily. This is probably pine is gonna be my guess uh, by the wideness of these, but I have no idea really. So right here, you can see that I am actually cutting these front legs off on purpose. Uh, this is intentional because as I started carving, I realized that those things were entirely too big. Um, if they were to be straightened out, they'd be twice as long as the rear legs. Pretty sure you saw what just happened. Uh, the one of the legs came off and it flew across this room. I have no idea where it is. I looked, can't find it. So I ground down the back legs and I added a piece, a little bit of super glue in the center of that, and then some uh, some wood glue, some pipe on wood glue in there. I'm gonna let this dry for about 24 hours before I go back to this and we'll see. Hopefully it's strong enough to make a, a good hold. Otherwise, I'll be starting this all over and, um, and going from there. So I added some, uh, some new appendages here, and we'll see if we can make this work. I'm still kind of afraid that this whole thing's gonna fall apart. We'll see, Let's see what happens.
As you can see, the, uh, the glue is sticking to my fingers quite nicely, uh, but not to the wood. So you've seen these legs come off many, many times. I'm, uh, I've got everything roughed in where I'm very happy at this point. So at this second, I mean, you're not gonna notice this, but I am stopping for a little bit here. I need to, uh, I just need to stop because I'm having too many mistakes happen here. So I'm gonna come back to it. And then I just need to put in the fine details, the eyes, the nose, the nostrils, uh, smooth it out a little bit more. Uh, the tail's too big, too thick. Um, put some hoofs on here, um, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe I won't even touch those feet, the legs, uh, we'll see. Um, and then we have, uh, this is what we're gonna have. There's gonna kind of be like this with the, uh, with the troll sticking out below. So hopefully you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. Um, Anyhow, we'll be back. I just thought I'd pop in here real quick um, <laughs> to say that these back legs are going to be the death of me on this thing. Uh, as I was coming out to the garage with this, I, I had uh, taken this in the house uh, when I last finished it, uh, when I last stopped, I'll say. Uh, so I can draw some more details on. I wanted to look more closely at the eyes and the nose and all that, so I drew those in. On the way out to the garage, I dropped them and I lost the leg. It just vanished. I don't know where it went. So I went in and this piece of wood obviously doesn't match, but I'll fix it. And I'll, I'm gonna probably paint this. Uh, why not? I have all kinds of other colors all over this thing. So we'll go ahead and get the details in. Take a look at this.
Ah, finally. I'm going to call him done. He's he's going to be watch I'm going to break I'm going to break his legs again. So he's going to be like this right here on the bridge. And uh I'll have photos to show you with the uh with everything on it. All finished. That one took some time, but there he is. Thank you guys so much. Please, I hope you can all go out and carve. I hope you don't have as much trouble uh, with your carvings as I had with this little guy's legs breaking off. Uh, at least I was pretty persistent with it, and I was not going to give up. I was going to have a goat on, on top of this bridge. See you next time.